seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of Osiris Rex, its seven year mission to boldly go to the asteroid venue and back. from the equator. SRB chamber pressure is almost plateaued at this point. Party 180, check the pressure so good. 45 seconds of the flight. Hold the program is complete. Throttle down. And Lock the one. Atlas rocket. And Lock the one. Atlas rocket carrying Osiris Rex has gone supersonic. Standing by to pack, pass through max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. Seems to look good. This is the point when the mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak and because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 14 miles, downrange distance is 9 miles, current velocity 2,488 miles per hour. Range track shows vehicle progressing down the middle of the range. In about 30 seconds, the good. single speed. solid rocket booster will be jettisoned at 2 minutes 19 seconds. Booster has throttled back down. It's now 50% of its liftoff weight. Next major event will be SRB jettison. Coming up momentarily. And, and you see the solid rocket booster jettison. Separation looks good. Vehicle has enabled closed loop Q alpha steering. RD closed loop Q alpha steering. RD-180 engine continues powering the Atlas Centaur and Osiris Rex into space. Next major milestone will be booster engine cutoff. Four minutes and two seconds into flight. Has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude 40 miles, downrange distance 75 miles, current velocity 5,988 miles per hour. Range track looks good. About uh, one minute away from Ast Atlas booster engine cutoff. Already burn well. Pump speeds and check the pressures within band. Vehicle body rates look good. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment momentarily. And we have begun throttling to maintain 5Gs. Signatures look good. Good. Boost phase cooldown is underway. And begun to throttle to 4.6Gs in preparation for Pico. Boost phase cooldown is complete. Beco engine shutdown looks good. Booster engine cutoff confirmed. Standing by. After and spacecraft separation, separation for the Centaur single RL-10C engine to ignite. And full thrust on the RL-10. Coming up on payload for engine jettison. Everything uh, continuing normally. The Centaur engine producing 22,900 pounds of thrust, and it will burn for just over eight minutes. Centaur body rates look very good. The steering has been enabled.
And the payload fairing, which was covering OSIRIS-REx, was jettisoned. Everything continuing on the timeline. Current altitude for Centaur is 101 miles. Range, downrange distance is 471 miles. Current velocity 12,589 miles per hour. We do have a report from the booster performance, and it is basically nominal. Centaur Q is currently on the box bridge stop. Chamber pressures look good. Box pump discharge, fuel venturi, and pump speeds all are good. Six minutes into the flight of Osiris Rex. RL-10 continues to perform well. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all within expected range. Centaur PU has come off the box rich stop. Body rates controlling down the middle. About six minutes left in the Ready. burn of the Centaur engine. Battery voltages all are stable at this point. Tank pressures look good. And we have had the format change. Very minor loss of data during that. We're seeing our normal thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. Line temperatures have nearly warmed to bottle temperatures at this point. Once again, you're hearing the voice of United Launch Alliance, Marty Malinowski. Track. Calling the ascent of the vehicle. We're still making good progress down the middle of the range. And Centaur has begun ran steering at this point. Current altitude 139 miles, downrange distance 1,008 miles, current velocity 13,783 miles per hour. continues to perform well. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and venturi all where we would expect for the set MR. Centaur body rate still controlling down the middle. About four minutes remaining in the burn of the Centaur engine. See the uh, Centaur spacecraft traversing out, out over the Atlantic Ocean. Range distance 1,275 miles. Current uh, velocity 28.5 degree inclination from the equator. Range track again continues to show good progress downrange. Centaur PU has worked off most of the oxidizer air at this point, controlling near nominal. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi again, all as expected for the set MR. Body rates are good.
Centaur continues to perform well. Current altitude, 100 altitude, 145 miles. Downrange distance, 1,597 miles. Current velocity, 15,333 miles per hour. Just a little over 10 minutes since launch, and everything continues to go well.